In the figure, points A, B, C, D, and E lie on a line. A is on both circles, B is the center of the smaller circle, C is the center of the larger circle, D is on the smaller circle, and E is on the larger circle. What is the area of the region inside the larger circle and outside the smaller circle? Well, the area of that region would be the area of the large circle minus the area of the small circle. And of course, here I'm using area of a circle is pi r squared, Archimedes' amazing formula. So if we could figure out the two radii, we'd be able to answer the question. Well, statement number one tells us that AB equals 3 and BC equals 2. Well, AB, that's the radius of the smaller circle. And AB plus BC, which is 5, that's the radius of the larger circle. So that allows us to figure out both radii, which allow us to figure out the answer. So this statement by itself is sufficient. Now forget entirely about statement number one. Let's focus purely on statement number two. Statement number two tells us CD equals one and DE equals four. Well, certainly it's clear from this if we add them together that CE equals five. Well, CE equals five, that's the area, that's the radius of the larger circle. So that gives us the larger radius. What that means is that the diameter of the larger circle would have to be 10. That's the distance from A to E. Well, we know that if we take AE and we subtract DE, we get the distance from A to D, which would have to be 6. And this would have to be the diameter of the smaller circle. The diameter of the smaller circle is 6. That means the radius of the smaller circle is 3. So even with this piece of information, we have to take a few more steps, but we're still able to figure out both radii. So this statement is also sufficient. Statement number one is sufficient. Statement number two is sufficient. Answer choice D.